hurt because of me hey do we have to go through this again i told you we look out for each other i won't tell snow no will be our little secret hey it's not like that do you remember time for you to move on huh hmm. better start getting lunch ready if you want to believe what Noel says, that's your decision. The guys have been acting kind of weird. Wonder what they're up to. Time for you to move on, huh? So, you're just taking him at his word? He says he's from the future, but where's the proof? I guess you're right. doesn't seem to be a bad guy. Still. We're just trying to look out for him, you know? You were up late last night, Mackie. Big project? A project? Yeah, I was uh, working on something for Snow. That thing, y you know. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't think you can trust that guy. Oh, I am beat. Uh, is Snow getting back anytime soon? I'm not trying to hide anything. Honest. I wonder what Snow would do. Noel doesn't seem to be a bad guy. Still. We're just trying to look out for you. Hey, Sarah. Listen, what's the deal with you and that Noel guy, anyway? If I said I was going with him, would you stop me? Let you run off with some con artist? I'd beat him half to death first. Wish Snow was here right now. Gotta be careful out there. Still a lot of nasties roaming around. This Noel guy, what's he after? Still a bit early for patrols. Wish snow was here. Let's meet outside once you're ready, okay? Sarah, wait up for me. This talk about artifacts and gates and time travel. To be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah, 
there's still so much I don't understand myself. If we can actually find an artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? Give me a chance and I'll prove that it's true. I'll answer as best I can. So Cocoon only existed in the past for you, is that right? Uh-huh. I... Hmm. That's odd. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably nothing. The history books say Cocoon existed in the past, but my memory's playing tricks. What's going on? Looks like Moss. Hello there, Miss Farron. Oh, hi there. This might be a strange question, but have you seen something that shouldn't exist? <laughs> it's a strange question, all right. I wish I could help you, but I've been pretty busy with security duty. Frankly, these days, lots of things seem out of the ordinary. Oh, yeah, I know. The people here are counting on you guys to protect them. They couldn't survive without Nora. Well, we can't ask them to fight off the monsters themselves. At least things have improved in these past few years. When the town was first built, Nora was in charge of keeping everyone safe and working the fields. Let me tell you, living on Cocoon, you don't learn to grow vegetables. Why do I have to fix the leaky roof? Oh. Hey there, Sarah. Sorry, but I'm not letting anyone near that meteorite just yet. All right, then. Hey, Godot. What do you think those artifact things are? You know, the keys Noel was talking about. How should I know? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. So, you do know something? No, I got no idea. You're not actually swallowing any of that crap, are you? I have to give him a chance, at least. That meteorite is off-limits. <laughs> I saw him carrying a knife. Yeah, what was he up to? I should just sneak away and get in some band practice. Things are almost back to normal on Cocoon. Thanks to the provisional government the army created. You know, I was thinking, if Noel here really is from the future, he must be pretty curious about this time period. That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon. But three years ago, our home basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the Broken Foul Sea anymore. So, most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually, things settled down, and some former military types helped get things organized. Now, there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place, then? Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. We used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. But if Lightning were back, everything would be so much better. So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. Odd.
Is that the artifact? This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? Hey, look there. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah! laughs> Daddy! Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. Sorry. She must be inside the pillar. Lightning's holding up Cocoon. Along with Vanille and Frank. Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. We talked. She gave us her blessing. Forget that moment. Lightning was happy. Happy that Snow and I were getting married. She laughed and said, Congrats. But then, all of a sudden, Lightning disappeared. She was gone, like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. People said I was dreaming. They said... They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is, why are you the only one who remembers? Perhaps I saw a different future. You're talking about another possibility. A world that might have been. Does such a world exist? A place where my sister is still alive? Weird. The knife looks like it's been polished. Maybe someone was cleaning it out here and then forgot about it. I don't think this is our artifact, though. Let's keep looking. What is an artifact, anyway? No one knows. Only that it's something that doesn't belong in this time. Did someone in the future tell you about gates and artifacts? Yeah, but now all I have is memories. I wish I'd thought to ask more questions while I had the chance. These disturbances are all happening in the area around the impact site. I'd say our best bet is to search around the town. Look, I think Mog has found something. That's just a cat. Oh, and it's with the one we keep at Nora. I'll bet you anything it's that guy for sure. Oh, he looks totally guilty. Hmm? What's that now? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. The only person there at the time was... I'll get that little brat. The only person there at the time was... Wait, 
Hey, the cat isn't an artifact, is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe the cat could have picked up the artifact. Stay on her, Mark. The cats have been on edge ever since that rock fell out of the sky. I've never heard them sound so excited. The kitties seem very pleased with themselves. I wonder if they found some food. Bathing seems to be a favorite feline pastime. Huh? Oh, what? Have I seen any Ardo what now? I could really use some hiking boots. Wow. You grow vegetables? What? You mean you don't? Well, the soil is barren. Nothing will grow at all. We have to survive by hunting. It's that or starve. Yesterday, you said you were the last of humanity. What did you mean? Just what I said. When I was born, there were fewer humans in the world than live in this village. After a while, I was the only one left. How did it happen? There were monster attacks and illnesses. People die. But everyone said the same thing before they passed on. The future is yours. <laughs> Snow, so this is where you got to. And the artifact isn't here, huh? Snow? Koopo? Oh yeah, she's my pet. Huge found her and brought her home. Hey, I don't see why not. I think we should keep her too. Uh, just as long as she doesn't make a mess in my workshop. <laughs> hey, girl. Are you sure you can look after her? Can't we all do it? I mean, we are mm. one big family, right? Yeah, right. Mac, you'll do it. You Whoa. too. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. She's adorable. Uh, she really does have a face. I thought I could hide it from them, but they knew. They saw right through me. I'd lost lightning, and then snow. But those guys, they really tried to cheer me up. <laughs> so it hasn't been all bad. No, not at all. Life is harder here compared to back on Cocoon. But everyone sticks together. Even in the tough times, we have each other. That helps. Those friends of yours are like family, aren't they? Yeah. settle down with us. I'm sure everyone would like that. It's good of you to offer, but I can't do that. I made a promise to Lightning. Yeah. We're way off track. Where else should we look? Mog, help us out here. Koopo! reacting to the kids yeah but I don't think he's just looking for playmates good morning 
<laughs> These are my students. I teach their classes. A school teacher, huh? Right! I'm so glad you're all safe. Yeah. Now, did everyone do their homework? I did mine, because I didn't want you getting mad at me like the last time. <laughs> Seems like you'd be soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Miss Harris, not that bad. No, come on. <laughs> you know, I'm only strict because my teacher was strict. Hmm. Lightning must have rubbed off on me. My grandmother was a teacher too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. Do you want to go back to your own time? Even if I did, there's no one waiting for me. Besides, I don't even know if it's possible. So what are you going to do? I'm not sure. First, I want to help you track down your sister. Then, well, there are things I'm looking for too. the kid I was looking for. I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. It's Mackie! I better get out of here! Hey, what's he got there? Let's follow him. Uh, he certainly is faster than he looks. What are you mumbling about? Huh? What? Uh, I wasn't. Don't creep up on me like that. There's nothing going on. Honest. I'm just trying to find my spanner. There's nothing going on. We lose the road. Who's gonna cook us up? Hey, has anyone seen my boots? Sorry to tell you, the mountain path is off limits. Cadeau's orders. We can't go near the meteorite right now. Wait, I remember. Wasn't there another path along the shore? Now that you mention it, there is another route along the shore that the surfers use. There's a path that appears when the tide's low. You can't use it right now, though. What are you running from? Watch it. Don't go that way. <laughs> going on? If you do, I'll buy you LeBro's special lunch every day for a year. A whole year? Huh. Not sure about your style of discipline, Miss Farron. Why did you run away? I promise I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. That's about enough. 
Tell me what you did right this instant. Ah, please don't yell at me, please! Hey, hey, why don't you find out what he did first before laying into him? You were running from Mackie, weren't you? Did you do something you weren't supposed to? I was watching him work on the robot, and then I saw it and I just couldn't help myself. This ought to be good. And then what happened? You really can't tell me? Oh well. Then I guess I won't force you to. Really? Thanks! Maybe I'll tell you later. When's that gonna be? not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something from Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, wait! What was he doing with this, anyway? That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I have faith in Snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? Artifact after all. Are you losing your touch, Mog? Poo -poo. It's not. I got a question for you. Who's this snow person? A boyfriend? He's my fiance. He's off trying to find lightning for me. You mean he's trying to get to Valhalla? Well, no. I told everyone there was something strange about lightning just disappearing. And only Snow believed me. Ah, I see. That's the kind of guy that everyone looks up to, huh?
Anyone else in the shelters? Hey, what's up? Sorry, but we can't let you through. We have a dangerous situation on our hands. The gate thing seems fairly safe. Artifact yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. Hey, you guys. Did you see a medical kit lying around anywhere? I thought I'd left one in Nora house, but I can't seem to find it. I'm guessing someone had a use for it during that ruckus yesterday. Pulse is a dangerous place, and I don't have the supplies to deal with serious injuries. If you find the kit, can you bring it to me? Thank you. My other kits are practically empty, and we still have people to treat. I put in an order for supplies, but deliveries take forever to arrive. I'm counting on you. Hey, check it out. Wait. Okay, what is that? Kupu? Kupu, Kupu? How... How did that happen? It's... A twist in time. 
Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think this is an artifact. We found an artifact. Just as Noel said we would. Does this mean everything else he said is true? Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends, my students, and the village for who knows how long. Can you tell me, Lightning? Do I dare believe this man? Okay, now we just have to head for the gate. I don't get it. What was that artifact doing in the mirror? Well, the mirror must have belonged to someone else in the past. Or the future. Wherever it came from, it didn't belong here in this time. Ugh, scary stuff. I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. But you still don't trust me, do you? I can see it in your eyes. If there's anything you're wondering about or don't believe, just ask, and I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. I lived at the end of days. I was the very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died, one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. So I went through the gate. I wasn't thinking very clearly then. I had a dream, but I didn't think it all out. I didn't know what it really meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In Valhalla, your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me, and I believe her. I understand. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. You want to take a moment to say goodbye before we leave? Thanks. I think I'm okay. Out of out of town as you lately. Uh, Miss Farron, are you leaving us? What? Why do you say that? Um, it's just that some people were talking, and it would be lonely if you left. There's no need to feel lonely. Don't worry. This is my home. I love it here. If I do leave, I'll always come back. I promise. Did you find that medical kit? No one seems to know anything about it. If you're heading to the gate, try the shortcut along the shore. You can use the mountain path too, now that it's not blocked off. The gate is where the meteorite fell. So, we should head towards Cocoon, right? You know, <laughs> it must be strange to have it always watching the
just as expected. There's still monsters around. Keep a lookout. I will. You be careful too, Noel. Drops in from the future unannounced. No, even before that, everything's been off for the last three years, ever since Lightning disappeared. You say she's disappeared, but I know where she is. She's in Valhalla. I'll take you to her. I promise. that easy. Yes, yes, that's it. You found my kit. I've been using this kit since I lived on Cocoon. Couldn't believe I'd lost it. It's funny how you get attached to these things. I'm sorry it's not much of a reward, but here... Ever seen a rock like this? I found it just over there. 
do me a favor and try not to get yourselves hurt. I've got enough patients already. There aren't many people who like to play nurse around here. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back.
Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know my sister is alive out there. I'm sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. Snow put all his trust in me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. So, you're not going to say goodbye? There's no need. We already have, sort of. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. What you did hey, that? Hey, shut up! Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. And Snow was purring like a kitten. <laughs> Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> Quiet. Hey. <laughs> Why don't you guys go fess up? Uh, what? Go on. Uh, uh, you too. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I figured no way you're leaving the pendant behind. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained <laughs> weapon. You know her. <laughs> If you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after Snow, so I volunteer myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I don't know what's waiting out there, in the future, between worlds, but I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. You can go, but you have to come back in one piece. Promise? I promise. If I believe, maybe a miracle will happen. The future won't change until you make the first step. You know what you're doing, right? Well, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. Hey! What about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you. I vow never to let her come to harm. To don't. But uh, trust me, for Sarah's sake. Uh, I guess this is it. Guess so. Looks like the future starts now. I'll be back! Sarah, you set out on your journey for my sake. You believed in a promise. You believed in a future you could not see. I will keep fighting here, at the end of the world. I know you will come. I believe in you. Sarah. It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads of the time continuum. So this is how you were able to travel backwards from the future? Right. Just floated through this nowhere space. And now it's your turn. <laughs>